Thanks for clicking through to take a look at the video. It's a little hard to explain on a LinkedIn post, so hopefully you'll bear with me and have some patience as we look at this. So my goal is pretty simple. How do I use these AI tools to make something brand new? To take information that was already present, to be able to reorganize it and present it in ways that are much easier to understand, as well as compress the time it takes to put it in that position. This is one of the best uses for AI that will only improve over time. So let's take a look at what I actually did and how I blended it together. So I started with Notebook LM, and this is what it actually looks like. Now you can see here, each of these are separate notebooks, but I want to direct your attention to the one that's titled Baseline Knowledge. Now when that comes up, what you're going to see are a variety of sources. You can add all sorts of different sources in here pretty much to do whatever you choose. Now, those sources will be in a closed loop. In other words, unlike ChatGPT, Notebook LM will only work with the information you give it to work with. It's not going to go outside those boundaries. So let's just say for the sake of argument, I've created a lot of videos around training financial advisors. Some have been created live, some have been in the studio. On top of that, I've created a lot of Zoom files because I record my coaching sessions with the hundreds of financial advisors I've trained over the years. So suffice it to say, I've got a lot of content. What you see here are a variety of YouTube videos I uploaded, and that's a pretty straightforward thing to do. When you go to select sources, you can look at the where you can get sources to upload. I go to Google Drive, I can put a website in, it'll read the pages, a YouTube video, or I could just copy and paste text. Now here what I did was upload a variety of videos. Now each video is held. So let's say we wanna talk about something about why it makes sense to ask for advice from someone. Well, two things are gonna happen. First thing is it's gonna give me a summary, and the second thing is it's actually gonna give me a transcription of the entire video. Get a slightly better look, let's go down here and look at behavioral finance. So you can see this is a complete transcription all the way down here. This is a transcription of a video with highlights here. Now, along those lines, anything I want to ask chat, I'm sorry, anything I want to ask Notebook LM, I can ask right here, or I can save those responses. For instance, how does bias affect investor outcomes? Well, there it is. Those are sources that I inputted, and it's now going to pull that back out. The thing that is kind of frightening, and we're going to see this more and more, is let's go up to Notebook Guide, and let's take a look at what two hosts, who are actually AIs, have to say about the information that they're seeing. Let's hit Generate right here. Shouldn't take all that long. This is going through and creating an audio summary to be discussed between two quote-unquote hosts. And I just want you to hear how realistic this actually sounds. And we can see that after a few minutes, we've actually generated almost a 30 minute summary, what we'll call baseline knowledge. See if we can listen back to it. Welcome to the deep dive. This time we're going deep into the world of financial advising. We've got a ton of uh, video clips from some real pros, mm -hmm. full of advice for advisors, you know, how to grow their business, really get into the heads of their clients and understand them. To advance this a little bit further, keep in mind there were no instructions given to this AI to how to create this baseline knowledge summary. Savings or business succession. They're looking for someone who can help them hit specific targets and proactively manages their portfolio to minimize risk. Okay. So we kind of get the general idea. So let's move that a little bit further. We also notice that we're able to extract all, if we choose to, all of the underlying scripts from here. So what good could that possibly do us? Well, let's take all of these things, we blend them together, and then we come over into a different tool. We're going to come over into a tool called Claude. Now, Claude, which is a, I think, a Thinkgenic product, looks like this. And what I asked Claude to do was pretty straightforward. I copied and pasted all of the transcriptions from every source video that I had up there, which Notebook LM was very happy to let me do. From there, I went over to a Word document and uploaded the entire script into this Word document. Now, there's a variety of things here, but the Word document I used was nine hours of baseline video, 
plus additional videos. Let's open that up and take a look what that looks like. Well, that's a big guy. Just look at it all. It's all run together. I didn't segment it off. I've got, what, 88 pages of information here. Seems like a lot for a simple reason. It is. Now, from there, I then went back to my friend Claude. Let's go back over here, a slightly different AI, and I created a project. And from there, what I wanted to do was create a podcast. And that podcast, which I'll link to back in the LinkedIn thing, essentially was I wanted to create a podcast from the other side of the desk. What is it that investors need to know and how do they determine whether or not they've got a great FA? So you can see this is my prompt right here. This is what I told it. I'm going to upload the file, blah, blah, blah. I want investors to know what FA best practices actually look like. And the file is right here, this massive file right down here. So from there, I said, here's what I want, 1,500 to 2,500 words, emphasize single themes, but contextualize them where called for. This is one of the real amazing things about working with AI that can kind of understand things in context. So here's the first episode. It's titled, If the Public Only Knew, it's now available on Spotify. What makes a great financial advisor? Now, I didn't really like some of the things it did, so it trimmed it a little bit. Then it picked up, I probably wanted to talk about bond funds next. So it made me a podcast like that as well. So I'm going to continue to post these things. But I took content that I'd done originally for financial advisors, and I crafted it in such a way to be able to create a series of podcasts, which are now going to be appearing here. Now, just for UFAs out there, just so you know, I've also created using a similar format, what I'll call a financial advisor masterclass. And that FA masterclass, different set of shows, it's like we've got five of those up there already, but this is the opposite side of the desk. So this is all the things that I've trained FAs to do. And then the other podcast on the other side is, what does the typical investor need to look for in a great FA? I would say all told to create both of these podcasts, extract the information on data that I already had, and start to put it together and actually generate it probably took me the better part of an afternoon. I've been messing around with editing tools and so on, but the reality is there is no possible way I would have been able to do this without the assistance of these different types of artificial intelligence tools. And guys, we are just at the beginning of the beginning in this. I'll be publishing more, especially on both of these, as to how you can use AI both personally and as a financial advisor, even if your firm has not jumped on board yet. Thanks for listening. Thanks for being a subscriber. I would encourage you to subscribe as an individual investor. Please subscribe to my podcast, If the Public Only Knew. I'll put a link here. Also, if you're an FA, you definitely want to subscribe to the Financial Advisor Masterclass. Talk to you all soon. Take care.